Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this room campaign. On our last episode, we had a few issues with our food uh, that we sorted out by, you know, untaxing a few provinces. Uh, right now I have about five, one, two, three, four. Four actually, although Sarmatian Germana Minor is not giving me, are not giving me too much income actually. It doesn't matter too much, my overall happiness is good. You know, I have more than half of my provinces on the green and not a lot of them lowering and most of them are just because of recent conquests and stuff or like this Cartaginensis is only natural. So I'm gonna skip the turn and yeah let's see what happens. Uh, by the way guys, um, I'm not gonna record everything from from now on, you know, just because it's gonna be way too time consuming. So what I plan to do is simply, like I did on the other campaigns, whenever there's something really interesting I'm going to show you. Uh, for now I just want to show you all the movements that I'm planning. And uh, as soon as I defeat that Nova Cartago stuff or the Swabies here, I'm just going to um, make a small stop until I'm ready to, to, to attack again. And I'll describe what I've been doing. Basically, that's it. So, also, my I'm, I'm going to do some new campaigns, of course, on Rome 2. I'm going to continue them. But what I will uh, do is use some mods. So, if you want to leave any mods that you would like me to play, I've seen some people ask me for um, a day, I believe, which is Divide, divi divide and et Impera, or whatever it is called. And there's also some others, like... Um, the radius mod. So simply ask, uh, and I'll try to, to. I'll check them out and see which one uh, I would prefer to play. Subversion stuff, some increases in rank. Construction report. Oh, I don't have too much food anymore, actually. I think I should just untax something just to make sure that I have enough food. Because the provinces that he's actually conquering here do give me some food so that's that's a bit of a problem here okay let's capture this one Ars. declare war no problem it's mine how to resolve it pretty easily occupy it come on editani have been trampled that's fine let me clear that up a little bit this is gonna change that's good Okay, right now, what do I need? This uh, army, you can go over here. Lost Legion, come on. This one is gonna attack. They're gonna flee, and I'm gonna attack them once more and kill them. Yep. Very easy. No oh, kick in the nuts. Kill all the captives. I certainly don't want any... Any... Uh, the men lying around. Let me go into force march, of course. Tulos is now increasing actually in happiness, which is good. It's due to this guy, of course. Uh, let me check my army movements. So these three are fine. Uh, let me check on this side, actually. Yeah, you are going to protect bells. Can you reach there? You can. Well, then you're just going to counterattack and go into Mon's reaches. That's what you're going to do. And over here, can you protect bells? Barely as well. Damn it. So this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to sacrifice, I guess, this army, the Bloodsworn. So I'm just going to attack here with, or to poison them once more. Failed a little bit. And this is going to be uh, the battle for today, actually. I'm going to attack the champions of Friagabees. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, battle for today. One more battle against the Swabby. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. You know, basic stuff that he's got. A lot of skirmishes there. I gotta be careful not to lose too much. Especially my my cavalry, you know. If I... if That's one thing that I like they did on this, ep on this uh, game. Is that it used to be like... Oh, cavalry is gonna charge archers. They're gonna die. But... It used to be like they wouldn't even do any damage at all. And now the skirmishes ac actually get to fire really well, which means that one or two volleys will hit the cavalry, and that actually may cause 
the cavalry to rout if you're not careful. Like, let's say, f uh, six units of uh, skirmishers against three of cavalry, it's not a... It's not really difficult, you know, you can have like one unit of uh, skirmishes to draw them and even that unit is going to fight, so uh, it can happen, you know, you can lose if you're not uh, really too careful, if not careful enough actually. So ballistas, uh, I really like them on the middle and that's exactly where I'm going to put it. Use explosive rounds please. Skirmishes as, as well. And this time I'm actually going to use this formation with my legionaries. So let's group up. And formations, you can use the double AKs. Isn't there? Group controls, triples, simples. Let's use double. Exactly. This way they are deployed like this, like they used to in Roman formation. And I'm going to use this cavalry all on left flank. That's good. Let me take the information panel out. So he is going to try to move in, but all my ballistas are going to attack them. That's nice. Get them all. Come on. There's some little lag spikes sometimes, guys. That's due to the CPU bottleneck, as it's called. You got a few wooden spears there. So these guys gonna have the quick reload and now my infantry I'm gonna move them right here. That's it. Cavalry you can actually move here. Start moving that's it. So th their units are only 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 uh, infantry stuff. That allows me to have a good control actually on what uh, what is happening actually. Let me highlight everyone. So you're gonna charge these Germanic youths. That's it. General is gonna go on his back as well with these guys. So now he's gonna charge. Let me charge this guy. Charge. That's it. Good. Charge the general there. Charge. That's it. General and this cavalry unit. Let's charge on his back here. Okay, so so far so good. Let me charge over there. That unit is uh, leaving, so let me charge on this side. The Germanic youths. Second wind over there. That's fine. He's gonna gather them all up. It's cool. Actually, you stop your fire. And you stop your fire as well. I'm not gonna need that. Standard sweep really worked well. We still issue a few orders just to make everyone run away and make sure that everyone flees. Yeah, this is just a surround, there's no way for him to survive. Pretty easy battle, pretty easy. You know, standard lines over there, they worked pretty well. Let's continue and uh, crush them all. And quite a decisive victory, of course. You know, I lost 99 men. Almost 100. But as you can see, the skirmishers didn't get to use... Uh, weren't really used well. You know, skirmishers with, with lo more numbers of skirmishers, I would have protected the flanks with cavalry and just tried to at least get a lot of casualties done with the skirmishers. Uh, that would be uh, a good idea. Of course, he doesn't have a good army because I've depleted most of their armies. But still, I think he could have done much better with uh, an army like this. Maybe even snipe one of mine. That would be nice. Okay, so he survived. Not for long. Out of resolve and kill him. That's it. Kick in the nuts. Slayed. Good. And now you can actually start moving over to tour. Yeah, let's check it out. Bells is fine, it's protected. I can go and protect Gallic as well. This guy needs to simply uh, stay back. Spy, you're gonna go over here and check what they have. You're gonna continue moving over Segestica. And you're gonna check out Sinjidun as well. They don't have anything? I can snipe them, actually. 
Well, everything from the Ardai is here, so this means that I actually need some good protection on this side. So one of these armies, I think it's going to be this one. Yeah, who is gathering up a lot of units. Oh, I built four Roman ballistas. Huh. Well, I guess three Velites and three Praetorians won't be too troublesome. That's it. And you're actually going to... Well, you can upgrade, right? Yes, you can. You're going to fast forward. Let's move into Ariminian. Yeah, I'm going to move him to Brundisium to protect. And they can probably reach Ariminian in one turn. So that's going to be fine. This spy. Come on. Antonia Flora. Antonia. Legio 10 Alpina. That's good. I'm going to use these legions to swarm the Balkans. That's it. The Balkans seems to be one of the easiest, actually, places to to attack. Actually, you know, it's it's an interesting spot to be in. You know, so I can get a Quink on one turn, then Segestican with two armies, and then Yeda with three. That means that he's going to counterattack here with the armies on Dalmenian. Then I can snipe Singidun and finish off the DRC with two to three battles. I will require, of course, a lot of uh, units here. I'm actually building up, but you can build up some more light artillery units. That's it. That's good. That's going to help out a lot. On this front, I have moved, of course. Everyone is moving. It's fine. I captured cars as well. Now, do I feel like I'm going to have good, uh, some good food? Or not? Let me see. Terraconensis minus 6, minus 24, minus 1, minus 19, minus 23, Britannia minus 10, Mauritania minus 65. Of course, this one is the, it's really problematic. Uh, Cisalpina or Aquita or Lusitania? Let's have Lusitania with no taxes for now, just so I can get, you know, food, enough food to for all my troops without worrying too much. After a few of my buildings are done, then I'll I'll be able to address that as well. I'm building up here. That guy's gonna conquer Mons Regis. Yeah, let's just end the turn for now. Oh, summon science skills. Come on. This guy? Yay. Yay, that's good. Let's have it. Uh, pull your stuff. More cunning and authority, I guess. Culture plus three cultural conversion. That's fine. Uh, what else do we have? Legio. You need some formidable fighters there. And you can have more wealth. That's good. So now I can add... No? Oh, this one still. <laughs> okay, household, morale, morale, mercenary units. Shots per missile. Well, let's have that. And what else? Oh, it took him quite a while to gather that information. And a warrior. I think it's going to be fine. That's good. End up the turn. After this end turn, I think I'm going to just gather up what I've been doing. See what they, they're going to do. And, um, yeah, just end it up right there. Just smaller episodes, I believe. They're much better, actually. Um, just bring up... You know, just so you can actually watch the episodes on uh, a small uh, place or a smaller window of time. Okay, they are going to capture this, no problem at all. I can retake it easily. I have uh, armies deployed there as well. Don't matter. Oh, and they're sending out all of the armies there, so I guess I will crush them near that city. Yep. Yeah. I think I can actually move into Tour if they don't have anything there really easily. Let's see the Novocartago movements. I'm still, of course, you know... Oh, they wanted me to join. No, cancel. Don't want to go into against the Spartans as of yet. Yeah, they're gonna capture... They're gonna keep going all ring around the rosy on me. Well, when I get two armies here, then I'm gonna stop this. No problem, auto resolve. Let's see. Uh, some balanced state should be fine. 
The good thing is that he's not actually replenishing, so at some point he's gonna have to stop. I think he's creating, you know, rebel settlements everywhere. But that's what takes with a, with this issue with the recap recapturing everything. Oh, I have minus eight on food again. Wow. Now researching improved defensive artillery. Wow. Rebellion imminent here on Magna Grecia. Well, there is actually. Well, then details. Let's untax the promise. I know that's a lot of gold. But at least it won't rebel almost, you know, it won't rebel now. Um, this is going to give me a lot of public order. And I can change one of these. Uh, I really didn't want to do that. Well, I guess I can move this army there and that will cause them to be a little bit more happy. Let me see for how much. Oh, a lot actually. This guy is cool. So, army destroyed, that was garrisons, of course. Construction complete, it's fine. Outrage, settlement lost. Oh, that's mostly because of that, yeah, of course. Whenever you lose a settlement that has a farm with just this, you know, you're gonna have food shortages, that's about it. So, that's what happened, actually. No problem there. You know, since I lost two settlements, I'm gonna recapture one, and that will be it. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut this army here on Olisipu. So this army is actually going to go all the way over here. That's it. At least I have good, some good placements there. You're gonna have a villa. Build up a little bit more. Minus 11, really, Katadasht? Yeah. It's because of all the conquests, of course. So you... Let me see. Can you capture it? Yeah. Pretty well. Occupy it. It's fine. I just see them now. I have a little bit more food. We didn't even had the funds to change that. And you are going to go into Numantia. That's it. Let's go over there. Just to recapture. I'm glad I actually brought these three armies because I'm going to need them against this guy. Now, let's go over to Mons Regis. Oh, I can't attack it right now. Uh, let's use this spy to check how is uh, Tour defended. Well, he has some units there and I can't spot it. Uh, well, I can't reach it as well. Can I check it out? No, I can't, actually. Interesting. Bells is sabotaged. No problem, I can repair. And you can just move over there to recapture Gallic. He has some units. I guess this is going to be a good battle. But I have perfect units. You know, legionaries, veteran legionaries, they're going to hold up for quite a while. Now, I get to build up more units here. Or three, that's good. Do I have any army capability? No, I have all the armies that I can. Right now, so you, you're going to sabotage some of his armies. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. I'm sabotaging this army here, just so I can, because I'm going to attack Yeda, of course. Uh, you are going to sabotage this army, I guess. Can you reach there? You can't. You silly, you silly person. I'm going to check here on Zarmi Uh Gallic is going to be mine after a nice battle. I think I can finish off the Swebi. And also the recapturing all of this on the, on this on these provinces. And yeah, that's, that's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So I guess that's going to be all for today. I can build up a few more units. Well, I would like to have at least five veteran legionaries here. Just so I can capture Apollonia or Epidamnos, you know. I can certainly start building up more fleets. And that would be... That would be cool, actually. Let me see, where do I have any more ports? I have it on Magna Grecia, and I don't have it anywhere else, do I? Do I? Let me check. My port cities don't have that, yeah. Olisipu? Yeah, well... 
not really that interesting. I think I can just keep building up uh, uh, fleets here. I'm just going to add more light artillery. Yeah, I have the funds for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.